Put your dirty face in my horse's water. Who, me? Yeah, you. <clears throat> Don't you know I got a healthy horse and you put Germans in the water? Ah, crawl under a rock. Yeah, what is it? Le gusta más la cerveza que el agua. Aim in the camp here, Jim. No, we gotta go on to Stovepipe Wells, meet Smokey. Stovepipe. You ain't gonna meet Smokey at Stovepipe Wells today. Hey, look, that comes Smokey now. Kirby and Davis is having a meeting in the Panamint Saloon this afternoon. They're organizing a Miners Protective Association. Them hombres ain't aiming to protect nobody but themselves. You're right, Borax. Kirby and Davis put over that association, they'll have control over every claim in Death Valley. I guess pretty soon all the miners are going to be working for them, no, Mr. Jim Benton? For once you're right, Pancho. I think uh, maybe we better went to that meeting, no? You're right, let's get moved. Hey, how come they didn't hold a meeting tonight? Be a lot easier for everybody to get there. It's a sense to figure out, Borax. Well, maybe Mr. Corbis and Mr. Davis don't want the, all the people to go there, no? That's right, Poncho. They only want their friends and the miners they know they can control. Well, we better get rambling now, huh? That's right, but you stay here, Smokey. What do you mean? Well, Your horse is a little tuckered out. He's all right. Come on, boys. Oh, right. Jim. Let's win, then. Come on. <laughs> Tough opposition, Kirby. The only opposition I'm worrying about is Jim Benton and his riders. And they won't be here. Let's see your whole card, Kirby. You sound like the dealer in this game, Wolf. I am. Is this a showdown? It is. Wait a minute, Wolf. We ought to be able to get together and... I'd like to say something. Shut up. Get over there where I can see you. You keep out of this, Davis. What's 
got you all riled up, Wolf. I want to know why you've ordered me to hold up the Purdue stage today. Why? For the usual reason, of course. Why, there's $50,000 oh, here. Why, Kirby, answer my question. I have answered it. No, you ain't. But I will. You've got Lave Hogan's note for $50,000. That money don't get here by noon, you take over his bank and everything else he owns. Well, what of it? From now on, I'm cutting in 50-50 on every one of your deals. You can take care of these two lizards out of your share. If that's the way you want it, Wolf. That's the way it's going to be. You'll win. This time. What's that? I said I was glad you got the whole thing settled. Now that hold up, Wolf. No unnecessary killings. Remember, you handle your end. I'll take care of mine. Chief boss, for a minute there, I thought you were going to plug him. Well, I'm not in the habit of cutting off my nose to spite my face. Come on, let's get on with that miner's meeting. Gentlemen, order. Men, this meeting is called to organize an association to protect you miners in Death Valley. What are you and Davis going to get out of this, Kirby? Nothing. Davis and I will finance all claims. Prospecting expedition, transporting ore to Panamint for smelting. I don't believe a word you say, Kirby. Gentlemen, gentlemen, quiet, please. Mr. Kirby wants to help you all. Why ain't Jim Benton here? Kirby's sure going to put this thing over. Now, Mayor, you've all heard my proposition. Any comments? Those in favor of this association, stand up. Keep your seats, everybody. Hi, Jim. Kirby, how can you hope to form a miners' protective association when half of the miners are out working their claims? Not my fault. The miners aren't here to speak for themselves. I say it is. You only invited these miners here. You thought you could intimidate them. Are you hinting this meeting isn't on the level? I'm not hinting, Kirby. I'm telling you. Boys, there'll be no association until all the miners are here to vote. All right, Benton. We'll put off the meeting till the miners can be here. That'll satisfy you. Drinks are on the house. Did you hear that, boys? Mr. Kirby's buying drinks for the house. Step up and name your poison. <laughs> It is going to be the end of this, uh, this association. Uh, the association. No? Yes. Well, I say no. All right, then no. What are you going to be, yes or no? I don't think they'll ever hold another meeting. Can't you understand? No. Ah, Dobie Brain. How long are you going to let Benton interfere in our business? Not any longer than it takes me to find a way to get rid of him. Well, it's high time. Dog the lemon, please. Wait, Doc Murphy. Chuck him all at Charlie. Take him over here, fellas. Get him some water, Borex. Water? Yeah, this will do more good. Here. Where'd you find him? Near the water hole after you fellas left me. His canteen was clear dry. Charlie. Charlie, this is Jim. Uh, Jim uh, Benton. I found it, Jim. I found him. Found what, Charlie? He's been raving like that all the way in. He, he keeps saying something about having found a lost Aztec mine. I found him, Jim. Found the lost Aztec mine. Uh, Jim, uh, Jim, it, 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 it's yours, Jim. Sure, take it easy, partner. I've got proof. I've got nuggets. 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 And I made a map. Take it away from you, Jim. 
it's, it's yours. Yours, you grub stick me. Yours and hers, Mary's. Yours and Mary's, Jim. Who is Mary? Shut up. Yeah, Mary's in my... You really think he found the lost Aztec? From the looks of those nuggets, he certainly found something. And he laid it right in Benton's lap. That's another reason for getting Benton out of the way. But how? When the wolf gets in from that stage hold up at Dry Wells, I'll have him and his men take care of Benton and his whole outfit. That's it. Oh, Jim, I forgot. Here's Chuck the Waller's man. Uh, he said the mine was yours, yours and Mary's. Yeah. I wonder who this Mary is. Maybe it's his burro. Cállate la boca. You mean to say that all the time you and him was out prospecting that he didn't say nothing about his kin folk? No, Tex. Old Chuck was pretty close-mouthed about his personal affairs. Hey, maybe this Mary is old Chuck's sweetheart. We're gonna ask the tombstone when they come. He know Chuck a long time before you do, didn't he? Well, that's right, Pancho. He might know who she is. Yeah, we'll ask him when he comes in from Purdue. You fellas stay here and wait for him. I'm going over to the bank and see Leif Hogan. Cheat a little bit. Better go into your axe, Silver. Oh. How are you, Tombstone? Hi, Ward. How about a lift? Silver's a little lame. Sure, hop right in. Hey, why don't you put that cannon up? <laughs> Wait till we get to General Mountains, lady. Yeah, wait till we get to them. Why, lady, behind every one of them rocks and them mountains is a rattlesnake just waiting to bite you. <laughs> Uncle Charlie never wrote to me about any wild horses. Chuck Wallen never paid any attention to wild horses. He spent all his time looking for lost Aztec mine. I wish I had all the money Jim Benton threw away grub staking that old desert rat. Jim Benton? Uncle Charlie never wrote about him. He didn't? Why, everybody in that valley knows Jim Benton. Boy, if it wasn't for Jim and his riders, this country wouldn't be a safe place to live in. Yes, and I'd feel a whole lot safer right now if he was along to help protect this $50,000 we carry. Hogan here? No, he's been gone all morning. Well, here, keep this in the safe for me, will you? Thanks. Hello, Lee. Looking for you, Jim. I've been down to your claim and everywhere. What's the matter? I've got a shipment of money coming in on the Burdue stage. If it doesn't get here by noon, I'm going to lose my bank. How's that? Well, I borrowed the money from Kirby and Davis. Oh, you 
got nothing to worry about. The stage will get here, all right. Yeah, I know, but while I was looking for you, I heard the Wolf and his gang were headed for the stagecoach trail near Death Valley Junction. Hey, that doesn't sound so good. I'll round up the boys and see what's up. left to him ain't worth hauling out. Yeah? What about the money that's on that stage? Well, it's a cinch you won't get to Hogan in time now. You ain't gonna leave it down there, are you? That's up to Wolf. Oh. Hello. Hey! Hello. Listen. Hey! Hey, Drew, get me out of here! Why, the son of a gun's still alive. Come on. <laughs> Throw me a rope. 
smoke, will you? Oh, uh, Miss, I, I'd like to have you meet Jim Benton, a topic of conversation in the stagecoach. He seems to think the position is everything in life. <laughs> oh, Jim, I want you to meet, uh, Miss, Miss... Miss Morgan. Miss Morgan. Mary Morgan. Uh, Miss Mary Morgan. Uh, uh, Miss Morgan, Mr. Benton. How, how do you do? How do you do? Will you tell that big stupid lug that you're with to throw me a rope? Take your hat off, you sap. There's a lady present. I'll tip yours if I ever get up there. Can't you do something for him? Well, he's hanging all right. Sure I can. You're right with it, Jim. All right, Silver. Silver. Jesus, pretty high down from up here. Oh, gentlemen, I'd like to have you meet Miss Mary uh, Morgan. Miss Mary Morgan. Thank you. Chuck a well at Charlie's niece. Chuck a well at niece. What's the matter? It's all right, Tomb. Boy, see if we can get Hogan's money out of the stage. We better tend to them horses first. Yeah, we get the horses first, and then we get the dinero double pronto. Let's win. Come on. That Benton sure is a lucky cuss. How come? He got out of that wreck alive. Let's get to work. <laughs> Sign of the stage, Hogan. You wouldn't hold me to the minute, would you, Kirby? Sorry. When I make a bargain, I expect it to live up to its letter, and I expect the same in the other party. But, Kirby, stop whining, Hogan. You signed this note, didn't you? Yes, but there's no buts in this note. What beats me is how in tarnation you came to do a thing like this. But you didn't. And I'm afraid you'll forfeit your bank for it. But it's not fair. I'm not talking about what's fair. I'm telling you what's the law. You've got four minutes yet. Maybe the stage will get here. Yes, and maybe it won't. Oh, buck up, Hogan. Take your medicine like a man. It's all right for you to talk, but you're not losing a bank. Yes, because I wouldn't sign such a crazy note. You and Davis were pretty sure the stage wouldn't get here, weren't you? What do you mean, Hogan? I mean you came in here with the papers all made out and ready to take over. Take it easy, Lee. All right. I'll sign. You've got a minute, according to the law. Hogan, we brought your money. Looks like we're just in time. Kirby, I'm afraid you can't go into the banking business right now. Tear up that note, Hogan. And don't you ever do such a crazy thing again. You can bank on that, Judge. Kirby, I'm paying off right now. Just a minute, partner. Can't you see the bank's closed? Oh, did it go broke? No, just turn it back to its original owner. Oh. Benton, this Mary Morgan has asked me to look after her interest in the Chuckawalla mine. Miss Morgan? Yeah, she's a relative of Chuckawalla's. The Mary he's been babbling about. Oh, is that so? Where did you find her? She lives here in town. She's all broken up over Charlie. Too bad. Yeah. She'll be at Mr. Kirby's office tonight at 8 o'clock, and we expect you there, Benton with the map. Well, Davis, uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Why? Hey, Tom, bring Mary in. Jim wants to see you. Gentlemen, allow me to present Miss Mary Morgan. Is that right, ma'am? Yes, Mr. Morgan was my uncle, or Chuck Wallace, as you knew him. 
In the interest of all concerned, it wouldn't be out of place, Miss Morgan, to ask you for some tangible proof. Of course not. I have some letters here that my uncle wrote to me. A lack of any evidence to the contrary, I'd say these letters were genuine. Of course, if you gentlemen would like some further oh, proof... Oh, no, no, I don't think we'll need that. Of course, you understand, we're merely trying to protect your interests. Your uncle may have discovered the lost Aztec, one of the richest mines in the territory. Yes, I know. Mr. Benton told me all about it. I don't want to appear officious, but I'd like to suggest a third party be appointed to accompany this expedition to sort of look after your interests. I don't think that would be necessary, Mr. Kirby. I have every confidence in Mr. Benton. Thank you, Miss Murray, but it might be better if you took Mr. Kirby's advice. Kirby, I'd be very happy to take along anybody you might suggest. Fair enough. Why not take David? I'd be very happy to go. All right. I'll make all the arrangements and we'll be ready to leave in the morning. Goodbye, gentlemen. The wolf got put out of the fight. So that accounts for your failure. All right. Tell the wolves that Benton has Chuckawalla's chart. The expedition leaves in the morning. Davis will be with them. And don't let anything happen to the girl. Don't worry, I'll look out for the girl. They'll report to the wolf. Take your orders from him. I don't want this job messed up like the other. Get your men together. Soda Springs, no sign of Jim. Maybe he decided not to wait for us. How could he wait for us when he hasn't been here? How do you know that? By reading signs. There hadn't been anybody here in days. Where's that map? I don't know what you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about, all right. Are you going to give me that map, or would you rather have Wolf work you over? Benton's riders are coming up the draw. All right, Benton, where's that map? Now I know I don't know what you're talking about. This isn't going to be easy for you. Get up that hill. Had time enough to get here. Maybe he ain't coming. Mr. Davis! You mean to tell him you think Mr. Jim told a lie, don't tell the truth? What business is that of yours? That's my business. Hold that, Poncho, hold it. And Mr. Davis, if I were you, I wouldn't talk so much. Somebody's liable to clip your rattlers. Pitch cap, I'm backtracking. you told. He figured it was more your type of work, Wolf. That's right, Benton, and I'll enjoy it. Hold on now, Wolf. He ain't got the map and he won't talk. Oh, well, he won't. Perhaps I can change his mind. Bring him inside.
Might as well tell me, Barton. I've made tougher hombres than you who can throw with information I wanted. Wolf, you're wasting your time. That map is hidden in a safe place, but I've forgotten where. Well, maybe I can help your memory. But I am hot, Butch. Not hot enough for him. that makes a move, I'm going to drill a hole right straight through. Keep yours over there, Wolf. So long, Wolf. You won't get away with it. The place is surrounded. You try and stop us. You and Trigger cut back and head him off. aiming to do. Try to find out where his riders are camped. Would you take Pete and scout the country north of Emigrant Cut? I'll scout the country south. Well, what'll we do if we locate them? Report to me at the hideout. Get moving. Take 
tighten up on that cinch, maybe you get along with that bronc you're riding. When did I have any time to tighten up a cinch? Well, gather your cack up. Let's round that horse up. And by the way, there's a lady waiting in Soda Springs. She's looking for a gold mine. She can't find it without you and that map you're carrying. I saw Benton and Tombstone riding over the ridge. You saw who? You're loco. Well, I may be, but I'm not blind. I saw him, I tell you. That hombre's got more lives than a cat. Which way is he heading? Toward immigrant cut. Butch and the others ought to be north of there by now. If we move fast, we can bottle them up. Benton and Tombstone are coming through the cut. Ah, you're getting spooky, Pete. Benton's dead. You might think so, but he don't know anything about it. Some riders, the upper end of that cut. Yeah, I was noticing their dust. Don't look like many, though. Maybe it's some of our boys looking for us. Maybe. Taking the cover. Yeah, they disappeared mighty sudden. Don't forget, Wolf wants Benton alive. This is one time I'm forgetting orders. Are you going to plug him? Sure. That hombre's given us too much trouble already. We'll call this an accident. Hey, Toom. What? Look, the sun's shining on something in those rocks. It might be a rifle. It's not an umbrella. <laughs> Start shooting, out count them when they jump. That firing's an emigrant cut. Which must have headed them off. Hey, where are you going? Got a hunch. Yeah. Horses are taking a vacation, and Wolf and these gang of little wolfets are going to sneak up and bite us right from behind. Well, what are you waiting for? I think you got something, eh? Hey, Pete. There's somebody coming through the cut behind him. Yeah. I hope it's Wolf. It's bound to be. He was south here and heard the shooting. Shoot no and keep him busy. A tombstone. We're getting close.
How'd you make out? I sent him to cover, but I think the horn toads has got us trapped. Not yet. You keep this outfit busy. Hey, what are you doing? Going to bed down for the night? started a fire. There's nothing wrong with my eyes. One of his smart tricks. Come on, let's get out of here. Oh, just one more shot, Jim. Come on. What's up, Pappy? shells you can spare. Oh, I get it. An awful dirty trick to play on them fellas, you know. Yeah, too bad. Yeah. Plugged them. Oh, they're out of cartridges. Hey, where are you going? I want to see them birds battle a bonfire. Oh, come on. Still on. Yeah, we'll be in the clear before Wolf gets wise. Yeah, without horses. You still got your health, or have you? Haven't fired a shot in over five minutes. Yeah. Let's move in on them. We must have plugged him. Wolf's moving in. No, you're too smart for us. You pulled the old scout trick. Well, I could have plugged Benton when I first saw him, but you claimed that you wanted to... Not your gap. I'll get him. Only way he could have gone is along that ledge. Get your horses. find your horses and Adina was nobody in them. We were worried when we lost them. <laughs> yeah, and I was worrying because he was worried. Yeah, he was yeah. worrying because I was worried. Oh, I'll break it out. Come on, let's, let's go. get back to camp. All right, let's win, huh? Vamos, muchachos. What I think you don't kill anyone. Benton's camp. Where is it? At Soda Springs on the trail to Jack Hole Lake. Well, that'll take them right through the path. Good and nice for a better place to jump them. All right, boys, come on. Jim, 
getting awfully suspicious of that Davis fellow. He's showing a little bit too much concern in Chuck Wall's mind. You're right, Mary. But we'll take care of him when the time comes. All right, gang, roll him. We'll ambush him here. We'll fan out in those rocks. Remember you hammerheads? I want Benton and the girl alive. That ain't as easy as it seems. Triple them if you have to, but take them alive. Come on. like it to me. We better find out. Come on. <laughs> we sure scared that wolf gang, didn't I? <laughs> Hi. You have 
haven't got eye trouble, have you? Eye trouble? No, I don't got nothing in my look. Oh, no, <laughs> not your look. You don't understand me. Eye trouble. I did this, I did that. You did this, you did what? Then? You are... No, not me. You don't understand. Oh, skip it. Let's go. Manda, Americanos Locos. Let's win. Oh, how are you? <laughs> Benton's riders. Get her on a horse. Get out of here. Right in, you gotta take the water like a duck, huh? Never mind the wise cracks. The wolf's got married. Let's win, then. Where's Hank? In the tunnel. His wife inside? Mm hmm. Take her in, Butch. Tell Kate to keep an eye on her. Let rock around? No, I'll tell her getting ready to go to town. I want you to take a message to Jim Benton. To find him somewhere in his superstition pass. I'm not taking any messages to Benton. I'm not cutting any didos with that man. I want to stay healthy. You want to stay healthy. What do you want me to do? All right. I want you to find him. Tell him I want to see him here alone tomorrow at sunup. And tell him to bring his map. He'll understand. Well, I think I can find him tonight, Wolf. I don't want him here till sunup. And I'll be sure none of his riders are trailing him. And don't you try any funny business. Get. Oh, you're a mess of trouble, eh, baby? Well, trouble's my dish. Make yourself at home. Take the load off your feet. That's right, dearie. Do everything I say like that, and you and me will get along fine. Have a drink? No, thank you. Expect you fellas back until you had the Morgan girl. What do you think we are, a bunch of owls? How are you going to pick up a trail like that at night? Why don't you get some shut eye, Jim? Oh, I couldn't sleep too. I know you're worried about that girl, but it's not going to do you any good. Come morning, we'll pick that trail up and her too. Yeah, and when the bullet was all gone from my pistol, what did I do? What did I do? Did you throw it away? No, oh, throw it away. I take my riata, and I throw the riata like that. I give it all the vuelta. Then I take my puñal and my knife, and I throw like that, and I... And I hey, pull it out, will you? I didn't stick it. That's too big. You pull me all... Hey. Wait a minute. I hear footprints. Somebody's coming. Hey, who's this? Me. Who 
Who's me? Rimrock, Pancho. Don't you know me? Rimrock? Well, I got your face, but I can't put you. Come on in. Remember, guy? Pronto. Rimrock. Rim rocks. You think he look like he is? Sure, that's Rim Rock. Yeah, well, uh, yes, sir. he's a little more thick than he was. I've been back home. Uh, more gordo, no? Jim, Jim, you well. What do you want? Where can I find Ben? Ben, Mr. Jim. This man, he want to talk it with you. Hiya, Rim Rock. Hello, Tombstone. What's on your mind? I met the wolf and some of his boys on the trail this afternoon. They have a girl with them? I didn't see no girl, but he asked me to bring you a message. What was it? He wants to see you. Where? I can't tell you that, Ben. I gotta take you there. Listen, my brother, yeah, I already got that girl. No use in trying to bully me, Tombstone. I'm a heap more afraid of what the wolf would do to me if I told you than what you'd do to me if I don't. What did Wolf tell you? He told me to take you to where he is tomorrow morning at sunup. For you to bring a map. He said you'd understand. You can tell the wolf, as far as I'm concerned, he can go play Wait a minute. That's not the way to play it. You can play it any other way, Jim. You're crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. But I'm riding out tomorrow at sunup with Rimrock alone. I'm going your horse and bed down. You sleep, see? Likely some of Wolf's men, making sure you don't try any tricks. Oh, I see. So let's get moving. Get off that horse. What are you aiming to do? Come on, get off that horse. at the spring to fill their canteens. Now, mount up, old smoke, and remember you're Jim Benton. Play it straight. Yeah, yeah. Benton started the sun up, they ought to be here. Yeah. They're coming. Get back out of sight. Hey, what are you gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do? That's what I've been waiting for. But if you plug him down, he ain't got the map, we'll never find where it's here. He's got it all right. He's counting on changing the map for the girl. Well, I've got Benton right where I want him.
Rimrock. That was our smart of us again. He's in the rocks there somewhere afoot. Get after him. Hank, you'll find my hat down on the trail with a hole in it. 